right, I bought the parts yesterday to fix the LT2000. I've already got a battery installed. All I got left to do, put the carburetor and air breather in. Give it some gas and see if this runs. Well, it might need a solenoid. It's clicking. Well, as you can see, I decided to dig the Craftsman LT2000 out to work on. This currently has an issue where... I'll show you where. So, um, when I bought this, this um, air box cover was missing along with the carburetor. So, I managed to buy a used one to uh, you know put this together and now run a new problem with this when you start it to do the only thing I haven't done to this yet is adjusted this governor arm so a little bit on a, the background on this machine I bought it last fall for only 50 bucks originally for parts I'm looking to get it running to see how decent it is and if it's something that I think is worthy of saving I know where I can find a, a mowing deck for it so Let's have at that governor and see if we can get this to run a heck of a lot more smoothly than what it currently is. So this is the first time I've ever adjusted one of these governor arms. So this is kind of trial and error for me. Let's try that right there. If that makes a difference. might have just done it. I do got to adjust the carburetor on this though, so let's get this hood off and we'll do that. I made a short about this topic before where these hoods just raw come back and they just come right off. I know what I've done. I'm just going to run with the adjustments I got on this for now. If I need to increase the speed, I know what I did to this last. 
So for now, I know it's not perfect, but I'm gonna call it good for now. Next problem that this has, don't know if I can get you under here for you to see it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the drive belt is removed. Now the, the background that I got on this machine right here was it was used just as a firewood hauler. The, you never really said what happened to the deck. That's, you know, all I was really told. Just, this was my firewood hauler and he said he was moving and the movers lost like the carburetor and what I had to replace. So I offered him 50 bucks for it right on the spot and he took it. So I just brought it home, hauled it back in my junkyard and kind of just left it as that. Let's um, maybe get it closer to the shop and or, or maybe I could just work on it as is, just slip a piece of plywood underneath. See if I can get a belt for it. Turns out this one has a mouse nest. I'll take the cover off and we'll see just how bad it is. Not too bad. No, not too bad at all. It's time to get this driving again. Now, for the belt size, if yours is a hydro like this, this will take a half inch by 82. If you have the gear drive model, the, the six speed, that'll take a half inch by 95 and a half. If you can't find a 95 and a half, you can also use a 96. But since this one's a hydro, I got a half inch by 82. First thing I'm going to start off with is to remove this back cover. Now, there's a bolt here and also a bolt here. Same thing on the other side. You can take this back panel off. And then I have to take the pulley underneath. I got to take the, the, the bolt out and drop that pulley down. There's belt keepers. So. I'll, I'll do that off camera and cut back to when I'm starting to route the belt again. So I'm under here. I just got that pulley up to that goes to the motor. And I noticed this right here. I think this is probably why the belt burned up in the first place. Luckily, I have one of these out in my junkyard, so... I'm going to go grab it real quick. 
right here. Perfectly good used part off the parts tractor. All right, I'm ready to put the belt on. Now I took this back cover off and the reason for that is, is we're a hydro. It's got this fan. I'm gonna wrap the, the belt around the pulley because I don't want to risk breaking this plastic fan. It's a lot easier to do it this way than it would if you put it on the engine pulley and then came back here. So I'll get it on real quick and we'll test this thing out and see if it even drives. So it drives. The only thing I gotta do is there's a return spring for the brake. I gotta install it. That's why you had to see me pull pull back on the brake paddle. So it at least drives. So next thing is just throw a deck on and see if it cuts grass. So now that I got the motor warm, I'm gonna drain the oil out and change it. There's quite a bit of moisture in the oil on this machine. I don't like that, so I'm going to change it right now. Well, I'm going to perform an oil flush on this. So I just got it drained. I got the filter off and I cleaned out the, the oil on the inside and what I'm going to do is you might, you might not like what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to take the filter and just thread it back on. I'm going to put, you know, fresh oil in it, run it a while, and then change it again. That's the whole point of the oil flush. Is to run new oil in, then change it, then if it comes out clean, then do a, you know, a full oil change. So... Just got to get this topped off.
probably end up changing the spark plug in this a little later. I don't think it's all that great. So last night I went and I picked this up right here. Obviously it's missing the discharge chute and this blade, someone installed it backwards and it's bent at the same time. But this ought to work with what I got. That and it's got the, the common issue that these have where right here there's this groove right there that warns it, that wears in so when you go to engage it doesn't like to disengage you have to kind of fight with it a little bit but I don't, I don't that won't be a big deal at all to fix i'll just grind away to so it doesn't catch anymore i know for what i paid for this not a bad score at all i even got all the mounting hardware I've already removed this, it's a front roller that goes in the middle, then there's a cover that goes, you know, covers this pulley. I want to tape off like these decals, they're, they're still in good shape. Remove the belt, remove the anti-scalp wheels, and then I'll take my grinder with a wire wheel, and I want to wire wheel this and paint it. So, I'll get you on the tripod and put you on time lapse. I can wire wheel and repaint I gotta take this little nub off the this is part of the engagement the blade stick on so I gotta do that first so a little bit of a, a decoy but I'll take care of it real quick I think that'll work out.
You've probably noticed while I was wire wheeling these two holes. So I'm gonna patch it, I'm gonna MIG weld it. I'm not a professional welder in any way. I just do stuff like this from time to time. So bear with me if I'm doing something wrong. I know it looks like a bunch of bubble gum and Swiss cheese of a weld, but it's all part of learning. The more I do this, the better I'm gonna get. If you got any tips that might help me out, feel free to put them in the comments.
Well, a few days have passed. Got a little bit of snow. I ended up putting two coats on the stack. I reassembled, I got the a discharge chute for it. I had one on a part stack. Along with, I replaced this bent blade. Came off the same deck that this discharge chute came from. So, I'll get the machine up here and throw the deck on, see if I can cut some grass with it. Well, what there is for grass. Before I'm gonna mount that deck, I, there's a deck mount here that's kind of bent and I wanna swap out these snowblower tires. person who sold me the deck they gave me a baggie full of parts i'm glad to at least have the pens <laughs> is on and it looks like it's gonna work except one small problem there's a deck mount supposed to be on this side it's missing so I'm gonna go up I'm gonna have to rob one off the parts tractor I mean this bracket is what I'm talking about it's for that rear mount so this is what's nice about having a parts tractor around little stuff like this is where you save the most money in Let's try this thing out. That worked better than expected. I'm gonna take it out back and see if I can cut some grass with it.
just like that. This machine is now back up cutting grass again. I still gotta do a little small things to it here and there. Mostly just tune up stuff and changing out this oil part. You know, it's all part of the oil flush. It's a lot cleaner than it was before. Now, besides all that little stuff, this one will be ready to sell. If you enjoy seeing old mowers like this come back to life, stay tuned. I'll definitely have more videos out on, you know, tractors like this. It all depends on what I can find. But, um, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.